Welcome to Daily CoinQ Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. Binance has launched Bifinity, a fiat to crypto payments technology company. Griffin Gaming Partners raises $750 million for a Web3 fund. Ukraine is using cryptocurrency to purchase bulletproof vests and night vision goggles. As a default looms, Putin signs an order seizing bank deposits. Binance reopens Euro and GBP bank transfers through SEPA and faster payments. Now let's dive into the details. Binance has launched Bifinity, a fiat-to-crypto payments technology company. Binance announces the launch of Bifinity, its fiat-to-crypto payments provider subsidiary, allowing businesses to adopt cryptocurrencies and connect with new customers through simple, direct fiat-to-crypto transactions, including buy and sell crypto services and user-friendly API crypto payments integrations. Concurrently, Bifinity announced a strategic collaboration with Econex, a Nasdaq-listed crypto exchange and Singapore-based digital financial services organization. According to the announcement on Monday, Bifinity will advance a $36 million convertible loan to Econex and will collaborate to maximize business synergies created by this new strategic relationship and capitalize on opportunities to cooperate and further expand their businesses. Griffin Gaming Partners raises $750 million for a Web3 fund. Griffin Gaming Partners has announced that its second fund has been oversubscribed, with at least $750 million pledged. While the fund has a larger gaming sector emphasis, Griffin Partners Phil Sanderson and Nick Tuolsto that the fund has already made 16 Web3 investments, accounting for more than half of the total cash spent. Web3 is one of our central theses from a macro perspective within games, said Tuolsto. It's our view that the enablement of digital asset ownership within games may be the single most important technological unlock in the history of games. Ukraine is using cryptocurrency to purchase bulletproof vests and night vision goggles. After Russia invaded the European nation at the end of February, Ukraine weaponized cryptocurrency, raising over $60 million in Bitcoin, Ether, and other cryptocurrencies and immediately spending some of these funds on fuel, food, and other supplies, including bulletproof vests for soldiers. The Ministry of Digital Transformation, Ukraine's de facto crypto ministry, is expediting the purchase of military equipment according to the demands of the Ministry of Defense, according to Alex Bornyakov, the ministry's deputy minister. Kuna, the Ukrainian exchange that put up the donation addresses, two ministries, five signatures, and several other government officials are major players in the scheme. As a default looms, Putin signs an order seizing bank deposits. Russian President Vladimir Putin has signed a new law allowing him to take Russian citizens' bank deposits. This only applies to officials' bank accounts if the sum of the deposits surpassed their disclosed revenues over three years and was proven to be illegal. However, it's unclear what the law actually says or whether any bank accounts in Russia are safe given that markets believe the government is on the verge of default. Binance reopens Euro and GBP bank transfers through SEPA and faster payments. Binance's European users, with the exception of those in Switzerland and the Netherlands, now have access to both Euro and British pound deposits and withdrawals via the single Euro payment area, SEPA, and faster payment services, FPS Rails, according to the announcement made today. Support for corporate accounts is currently unavailable. Binance, on the other hand, is actively partnering with Paysafe to broaden its breadth of services. SEPA and FPS allow consumers in Europe to transfer euros and pounds using their bank accounts. Binance announced that new deposits and withdrawals would be made through cooperation with the UK payments business Paysafe. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the CoinQ channel to stay up to date on the latest news.